In this tutorial, we will be learning about how to create config files with Python using, using Python's config parser library. A config file is something that you can use to store all your settings in your programs. To create one, we can use Python's config parser. So let's import it. And I'll create a little function to create a config. And I'll pass up the path to the file that we want to create. And here we have our config parser instance. So we have config parser dot config parser. You notice the capitalization in that. That is known as camel case. The config here is going to be an instance of this particular class. Now we just need to add some sections to our config. So we'll create a settings section. And then we'll set some settings. So let's say we want to set some fonts. And we'll set a particular font type. Say we want a font size, 10. You'll notice that we're always setting, we're setting the section, the setting that we actually want to set, and then the value. So this font size will go in the setting section and will be set to 10 points, basically. OK, let's just go with that for now. We'll open up our path that we passed in and make it a writable file. And then we'll just write it out. All right. So now let's make this proper. If name equals main. Our path would just be settings. That I and I. And then we'll create our config. Okay, let's try config parser test. And we'll just save that. And let's see what happens when we run it. OK, so we have no output. So we know something happened, but we're not sure what. So let's just try opening something and see if it has the settings file in here somewhere. Unfortunately, Python is not very good for opening up just regular files. So, well, it actually is. We'll actually do it right now. So, f equals open settings dot ini f dot read. So as you can see, it read that file, and it does have a settings, a line break, font, yada, yada, yada. Um, let's go ahead and grab this and make it print out a little bit better, though. Go to the beginning. I believe you can just do a print. Now I'll print it out with the line endings. So this is what the file looks like inside, settings and in, in braces. And then you have your font set to courier, and your font size set to, set to 10. And you notice that none of the stuff is quoted like it was when you wrote the file out. So basically, you have to tell config parser that you're passing it strings, and then it writes it out properly into the file. Now this 
particular settings file could be read by pretty much any program that can read a config file or an INI file, as a lot of people will name them. Some people will do a .cfg for their config files. Now we're ready to learn how to actually update a config file and read from the config file. So since we already have this open and everything's handy right here in our little idle session, let's just do it right in this part. So another way to read the file well, would be to use the config par parser itself. So let's try to do that. So let's create a new config object, but this time we will create a config parser um, object. It's more. And then we'll do a config.read of settings that I and I. Now we should be able to make it tell us the different parts of it. So if we do font equals config.cat and do settings, comma, font, it should pull out what that is set to. As you can see, it's set to courier. Now you'll notice that to get that, we had to call the settings, which is the section, and then the value that we wanted to grab. So in this case, we want to get the font value. Now we can do the same thing for font size. Just do config.get. Make sure that you capitalize settings correctly. And then you can get the font size out of it. And you find out it is 10. Now let's see that we want to change that font size. So we could do config.set instead of get and do settings font size. And we can set it to something else like 12. So now if we go back up here and do our get again. It might be different and it might not. Let's find out. Yep, it's 12. All right, so now we know that works. Let's try actually removing that option. So we use our config object dot remove option. And we tell it that we want to remove something from the settings section. And in this case, we'll remove font size. It tells us that it did it by saying true. So now if we go back and try to read it again, I'm guessing we'll get an error. And we did, we got a no option error. There is no option font size in the section for settings. And it's quite a long uh, trace back. You're welcome to check it out. I'm not going to go over it right now. So now we know how to remove options, read options with the config parser, and also set options. There's one more topic that I'd like to cover with the config parser, and it is the topic of interpolation. Interpolation is the idea of creating an option by using other options. So let's create one real quick, because it's a little bit easier to explain with code. So we have our config, and we want to set up an option in our settings part. And we'll call it font info. And for this part, we're going to create a little string. You are using percent font s at percent font size. Now this actually has a slight problem because we just deleted the font uh, size, so we'll have to re-add that. But let's get this ready first. And then we'll reset the other one. Uh, settings, font size, and we'll set it back to 12. Now, to show what happens, we just need to do a config.get on this particular item. So we do settings, 
Right info. And see what we get. You'll notice that it prints out you are using courier at 12 point. So this part up here that we set basically tells it to use the font setting that we defined in the file and the font size setting and stick them in the string when you call this particular uh, setting with your config parser. So you really can build yep, a special setting using other settings within the file. I think that's pretty cool. In fact, you can actually do a little bit more. Let's take a look. So let's say we want to do config.get. Actually, let's just grab that. It'll be a little bit quicker. So we're going to have font info. But this time, we're going to change things up a little bit and pass the vars parameter. And the vars parameter takes a dictionary. So this time, I'll say the font is Arial. And the font size is something completely different. Something ginormous, like 100. All right. And we close that and see what happens. So you notice that this time it prints out you're using Arial at 100 point. So you can actually tell it to change what you're passing to them, even though that's not particularly in the file. At this point, you should be able to create uh, a file using Python, as well as set it, delete it, delete portions of it, and just write it right out to the file. All while using config parser. Pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.